Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've done a development video, so today I'm gonna do one about story shift and how I process each chapter when uh, the writer sends it to me. So today we're gonna process the Emerald chapter 5, and I'll show you what I go through to, to do just that. So, um, so I got all the, the data here, I got the chapter, got all the folders for all the stories. And luckily, Isabel sent me the, the file in the right format with the right uh, presentation, the right font size and everything. So let's look at it. So that's the new chapter. Let's get all the, uh, all the required stuff like the off-white background and off-black text and the right font size and everything. It's got the box, the box choices which is what we need. We need the, we have the question here. So everything seems good to, to process. So what I do is I, in the case where the writer sends me a story as a doc file, I'll convert it to JPEGs using this website, doc to, doc to JPEG. So I choose uh, the file, the format I want. Just need to enter my email. Even better would be if I had the tools to do that on my end without relying on this website. And we just wait for the file to come in my my emails. Okay, so I got the file. So now what I do is I go get them. So I get a JPEG for each file or in my case what I want is the zip file with all of them. Okay, so I got the zip file here. I'm going to extract it. So, I got all the files here for each pages. And uh, I got the choice page right here. So right away what I'm gonna do is, since these files are, are converted to a smaller size than what I want, I run some, some batch, batch uh, processing on it in Photoshop. I'm gonna do just that. So it's a batch action in Photoshop, so basically what it does is uh, resizes the file. Sometimes there's a white border on the image, it, it sets it to the same color. And uh, yeah, just uh, it fixes some issues with the, the files that I usually have. Actually, in this case, since there is no white bar on, on the side, I use another action. It simply resizes to 1,500 uh, pixels, which is my base, my base size for all my pages. So now that this is done, I'm just gonna copy the choice page since I need a version of the page without the choices and then I need the actual choices so I remove this and I'm gonna move this a little higher just for to make sure we, we have enough space for the choices and for the choice page well the actual choices what I'm gonna do is simply crop them here all I gotta do is remember the where the choices were in pixels, so I can set the coordinates. Uh, you'll see later, but I set the coordinates in the uh, in the setup of the new chapter on the on my tool for uh, for story shift. But you'll see that uh, a bit later. So I just crop that. All right, so I'm ready to go to the next step. So here it's the pages should be named with the actual number of the, the page number. And that's wrong, obviously, because we're at the chapter five. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to check the last page of the previous chapter, which is 51. 
and then I can use my, my tool. I made a tool in C Sharp to do a couple things, rename the files, set up the option files, and also generate all the um, all the resolutions for all the files. So every, every page is uh, in tree resolution and it has a preview image to load very fast and then it loads the full resolution. But you'll see, uh, you'll see what it generates. So uh, like I said, it was uh, last page is 51, so I need that number here. Starting page will be 52 in this case. I'm gonna select the images that I want. Alright, so we want page, all the pages except the copy I made for the choices. So I do that. So as you can see now, they're all renamed from 52 to 70. And the little, little tools tell me there were uh, 19 images and the last one is, is 70, which is here. And I need that number here, so it's automatically set. Uh, we have four choices, so the next tool will just prepare some choice images from this one. So they are converted to page 70, option 1, page 70, option 2, and etc. So what I do with these files now is I, I'm going to crop the inv individual choices. As you can see, it's a little tedious still. I would need to make some more tools to automate this. But it's, it's better than before and it's not too bad. So option 2 is here. Option 1. And option 4. So I got all my pages, they're in the right size, and I got me my four choices. So the third, third step in the tool is uh, processing all these images. So I just select them all here. And it's gonna process them all one by one and generate all I need in a temporary folder. So we just wait for that to finish. Okay, so that's done. So all the files are in uh, the temp folder. So as you can see, every page has the iRes, iRes preview, low res, low res preview, medium res, and medium res preview. Same thing for the options. So all these files I need uh, in the actual story folder. That's where I keep all the all the data. And I also need them in my server, so I'm gonna copy them over to my in the right place on my server, so the application can load the the images from there. All right, so the copy is done on the server. I'm ready to set up the new chapter in the. Uh, the administration uh, page for story shift. So I'm gonna go in Emerald. And so my tool told me there were uh, 19 new files. Well, that's how many I selected and processed. So uh, the story is already revealed, so I'm ready to add a new chapter. So I'll add the 19 pages here. And I'm gonna add the new decision. And so the decision was... Just go here. So basically the question is... What should I go with? And uh, the positions of the choices were... 13, 14 in pixels. And uh, when there's four choices, I usually go with... Uh, with this kind of uh, of position, so uh, 300, 700, 1100, and 1500, and then I'll I'll tweak later if it's if it doesn't work. Uh, first choice is uh, 
is this. So I'm just gonna input the text of the choices. All right, so I put all the all the choices. Just update to make sure it's saved. And now what we do before uh, publishing, we just verify that uh, the pages are there on the server and all the names are correct. So it starts from 52 and goes to goes to 70. And everything seems to be good. It's all there. And so what I do at this point is I publish it. So now the new chapter is in the in the app. I usually go uh, verify the positions of the choices in in the application. Gonna load the new grounds version. So now the, the story is on the top since it's been updated. Choice number 5, 70 pages, so that's all good. I'm gonna check the last page if it's... See, I, I made a mistake here. <laughs> yeah. So I took the wrong number when I, when I did this. So that's surely wrong, so it's about... Should be about 50. That should be much better. I verify the changes. It's too small. And so I keep uh, tweaking the numbers to make the choices fit more in the page. And that seems pretty decent now. So... So that's what I do to integrate a new chapter. Now all I have to do is... Uh, is send the emails and... Post it on social networks that the new chapter is out. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching and... I hope it was... Uh, entertaining enough to see uh, how it works. So different chapters uh, require different actions. And uh, some take less time than others, but overall, that's uh, that's the process. So uh, keep uh, enjoying Story Shift and and spread this video if you can. By the way, the music is by Maestro Rage from Newgrounds, and you can check his uh, his music with the link in the description. Uh, leave comments and uh, see you next time.